people always ask, isn't it too much? But I'm like, it'll never be enough. Never. It'll never be enough. Like, never ever. It's never ever. How did I get this many orders after one post on TikTok? I asked a question that people wanted to answer. More engagement equals more views. Follow for more tips. If you started your business with a logo, you're doing it wrong. Having a logo and putting it on everything does not equal branding. Making a logo should actually be the last thing you do. Here's what you do instead. Number one, research your target audience. This means figuring out who your customer is. Two, pick your brand focus and personality. This is also where you choose your business name and write your slogan. Number three, choose your style and brand colors. This is actually where you get to like start playing with the logo. Number four, design your logo. Now you're at the point where you can start putting your logo on things and branding things. If you do it before that, you come off as cheesy and weird. We all have a friend of a friend who just got a logo off the internet and slapped it onto every mug and cup they could find. You don't want to be that person. Yes, from customers as a small business owner. Karen, hello, I saw your business on TikTok and I was wondering if you can send me free product. Karen, I have a big following and you're not going to regret it. Me checks their IG and it says 50 followers. Me is sorry. I can't do that. Karen, fine your products suck anyways. Me, sheesh. I charge $3,000 for these and a lot of people have been asking why and although I think the question is a little bit disrespectful, I'll answer for people who are genuinely curious. These one-of-a-kind wax monogram masterpieces are vegan, cruelty-free, and keto and they also align your chakras. I rest my case. Pack an order with me. Thank you so much, beautiful.
three things all small businesses need to stop doing in 2021. You should only be posting quality photos and content. If it's blurry or if there's bad lighting, don't post it. Stop getting so bogged down with the work that you forget to educate yourself. Remember, you are the visionary and you need to think about the trends that are coming up. So make sure you schedule time to watch webinars, blogs, read books. I'm telling you, it'll keep you ahead of the curve. Stop thinking that you know your finances when you don't have a bookkeeper or a financial planner. Do you know that most businesses go out of business because they do not have financial clarity? Get it. I know some of these things are hard to do, but if you wanted the easy route, you wouldn't have become a small business, right? <laughs> Stop overpaying for packaging already. We get it. You like the Amazon stuff, but let me show you this. Okay, so we're on Amazon.com, and right here we have a marble pink poly mailer for $16.90. That comes out to about, and it's a 100 pack, 100 pieces, almost $17, comes out to about 17 cents a piece. Now, I want you to type this into your website, upackandship.com. I already pre-picked a poly mailer. You can get 25 for $3.99 or 100 for $7.99. Your cost just got cut in half. If you like this tip and trick, follow me for more small business content because this is my journey and I want to share my journey with y'all. Y'all really got me good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got something for y'all. What? Get out! <laughs> things that went wrong when starting my brand for your viewing entertainment. You see this shade of blue? It was stuck in the LA port for six weeks, causing major delays for me. Uh, kind of rude. Speaking of the color blue, we had already done all of our sampling and all we needed to do was to go into production and our vendor sold out of the shade of blue I was using. So on the fly, without sampling it, we had to cross our fingers and come up with a new colorway for blue and pray that it worked. My photo shoot samples arrived in the wrong color. This is the correct color. This is the incorrect color. How did they not, how, how did they not notice? My three hour campaign photo shoot turned into a 12 hour campaign photo shoot because of rain delays. Thank God my models and photographer were so amazing. It's a long story, but I left my LA factory, went to New York instead, and I had a friend ship all of my materials from my LA factory to New York. All the while, I was about to board a plane to go up in the air from Miami to Austin. I had no control of what was going on, and I was just saying a prayer that everything went smoothly because if they needed to call me for help, I could not be reached. I was in the air. Now that I think about it, the blue was super problematic because whenever they shipped everything from LA to New York, FedEx lost this teal shade for weeks and everything was delayed. The next time you get upset with a small business for not shipping your order fast enough, please don't compare them to Amazon. Amazon has 1.2 million employees, hundreds of fulfillment centers, and an army of robots to get you your order in two days. We have Doug. Pop, you won't go far. No small biz will want free advertising in your magazine. You only have 361 followers. Me, I won't give up my dream to help small biz owners. I will keep growing. I now have to point 5k followers on Insta and have worked with over 250 small businesses.